What's going on, people? Welcome to Michigan Poor Man Grow, where if it blow, we grow. That's if you didn't know. And with that being said, let's get into it. Now, y'all might be wondering, what the fuck am I looking at today? Well, I'm going to explain to y'all. These is the genetics I was talking about. Now, in my um, cannabis consumption, you know, I've run across a lot of different strands, a lot of different places I went. You know, I've got them in, in vials, as you can see. I've got them in packages. Sometimes they were cheaper. I got a deal. Sometimes they was whacking me. But I would end up with seeds from time to time. Or I would go to a dispensary and I would see, like, weed that they pulled off the shelf. And I would be like, well, what's wrong with it? And it might have been some seeds in there. It might have been a male up in the um, pollination room or the veg room or whatever. Flower room, I meant. And at the end of the day, they would um, sometimes just hook me up and let me get a little bit of the other weed. And I would judge off of a couple things. One, if it was what they said it was. Like, being, if they say, for instance, one of these I know is Sprite down here. We'll, we'll go with this Granddaddy Purple. So, I got some Granddaddy Purple seeds from one time I went in there. And when I got the seeds, like I said, I was the one I was talking about specifically where they were taking the weed down, but it was some other weed I had brought. And I'm like, well, let me buy a gram or two. So, he just hooked me up with a little gram or so. But I judged off of if it looked like it and it tastes like it, and if it's different than other weeds, and bottom line, if it's smoked like it, what is it smoking like? So, a lot of these different genetics, um, some of them is from bag seeds, some of them from, a lot of them from dispensaries, and some of them are just from um, some people I know that's into the cannabis too, a lot of caregivers and just other um, cannabis consumers or either um, patients. So, what I'll do, let's get into it. Now, the reason I was showing y'all this video mainly was because I wanted to show y'all this pollen that I got. I don't know if y'all seen my videos about a year ago, but y'all can see my plants. And the biggest plant was this. It was the cherry lemon glue stick, which was cherry skunk times gorilla glue number four times the lemon OG haze. Or I think it was the OG ties the lemon haze or something like that. It was a lemon genetic and it was a cherry genetic. So the lemon plant ended up being the male. I pollinated the cherry plant and it ended up being the male. I'm going too long and I got some pollen. So that's what this is. Now, this is the lemon glue stick, which was the lemon haze or the OG ties lemon haze times gorilla glue number four or whatever. So. This is what I took the pollen with, and then I made this, which was the biggest plant from a grow a year ago, and I got the pollen from that, so this is what we'll be using this run around. But I just wanted to show y'all that um, I have some pollen, basically. I'll go over some of this little shit that I got down here, though. I think this is like a couple of the Blue Dream seeds up in that container. Um, this one right here is actually the Sprite. And um, I only got a few seeds of some of them, by the way. But the way you um, do that is you just get clones when you do them. And those were official. Those are the Sprites. These are the Arizona Kush. Excuse my sloppiness, because sometimes I'll be like on the go or in the road. Just, this was some um, sweet tooth. It has some um, seeds up in it, but it was pretty straight. That's a hit and miss. This one right here is some AK-47 seeds. This is the Granddaddy Purple again. These is a uh, few cupcake seeds somebody gave me. The cupcakes, them bitches was blowing heavy. These ones is actually a couple in here. What we got, we got the Dosey Dose right here, a couple Dosey Dose. And this one, we got a um, couple of Fruity Pebbles. I think I got a couple of fruity pebbles from a couple of different people. Um, these ones are some more AK-47s, I think. Uh, hold on. 
No, nope, so I know we got surprises in here. So what's this? Oh uh, yeah, this is uh, um, another blue dream. Another phenotype of the blue dream that is. And this one is um, some rude boy. Some rude boy seeds. Them pictures was kicking. And these ones is. Well, we got some of that cherry. Um, actually got some more seeds. Oh, the one uh, that I got some pollen from this, so I might even have some female seeds. Of it. I don't know yet, though. But um, I got some female seeds or some more seeds of it. It's optional, just a couple. And then I got some sugar cookie seeds. Um, got some more fruity pebbles. I got some um, probably Jamaican right here. And then I got like a random something. I put it in a Rello pack. By the way, you could put your seeds in a Rello pack. That's a good alternative if you ain't got like um, the, the scientific kit and all of that shit. You can put it up in there because once you set it off, it's airproof or whatever. And it should be tempered proof. I also put all this shit in another box. So that's what it is. I got some purple hay seeds. I got some blue cookies, I got some, some other shit, I think is some, um, some fucking purple punch or some shit, I got some peanut butters down there, and then I got some tangy mint, that's what that is, so, on top of a couple little mystery strands and some other shit that I've been running into and that I got around here, but I just wanted to let y'all know that, um, when people talk about bag seeds, sometimes it's not a bad thing. And it's not a bad thing if we got seeds in it. Because with me having plants that gave me pollen, I'm looking to breed those with a plant that um, is almost a guaranteed female, which I did. Like Granddaddy Purple, that's a strand that had some seeds that was bred by a Granddaddy Purple plant. So hopefully... We will get some females out of there. Not everyone might not be, but if any of these phenotypes was um, feminized, then hitting them with the pollen and crossing them would guarantee that um, we get a good female genetics, or at least we're going to get some female bugs that probably carry some of the phenotypes. So that's what we're looking for to get them, um, them strong gases from the lemon and from the gorilla glue. And also the um, gassiness and the um, aroma and, and the taste of the cherry or the cherry women. I'm not going to lie. I even, um, just because it was so fragrant, somebody asked me for some leaves and they saved them. And one day they fucking rolled up the leaves and we fucking smoking the joint. And the shit got us all stoned. I don't know how or why. Shit crazy though because it really, really, really tasted like weed. It didn't taste like no trim or no nothing else and it was a male plant it just has so much frost and shit i thought it was a female but when i said it started budding it was like it didn't and i think it had went into revenge for a little minute so hopefully it was actually a, a female plant and um had some pollen off of it so then those plants will be feminized or whatever even if not, I kind of actually like the regular genetics and the regular route of pollination because you'll end up with a whole lot um, more options as to how you're going to breed in. Is it going to be the male cannabis um, strains that you're going to breed into the female or is it going to be a different male from a different cannabis strain and you cross it with a female that's a that strain. So. It's options with it as long as you, um, like I say, keep it procreated. If you don't have but a couple of seeds from it, don't worry about it. You can plant them all at the same time and run that strand heavy. That's a um, smarter way of doing it because you make sure it stays around. Like if I'm going to run the Granddaddy Purple Cross, I will run a few of those and then I will see what the different phenotypes are like and choose the ones that I like, the rare ones. I might pick the ones that's, you know, granddaddy purple. If it's tall and purple, 
I might pick one that's short and purple or tall and green. I might mix it with something else. So we're just going to see what all the genetics bring about. Or even if I don't do it that way and I do it one at a time, I'm going to continue to run the clones. And, um, hopefully they're going to do what they're going to do. Well, until next time. Well,